Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Chemical composition of cement clinker and rate of hydration. Composition of cement clinker The various constituents combine in burning and form cement clinker. The compounds formed in the burning process have the properties of setting and hardening in the presence of water. They are known as Bogue compounds after the name of Bogue who identified them. L.E. Chatelier and Tornabome have referred these compounds as a light, tricalcium silicate, C3s, Belite, decalcium silicate, C2s, Cellite, tricalcium aluminate, C3A, and tricalcium silicate, C3. S. It is supposed to be the best cementing material and is well burnt cement. It is about 25-50%, normally about 40%, of cement. It renders the clinker easier to grind, increases resistance to freezing and thawing, Hydrates rapidly generating high heat and develops early hardness and strength. However, raising of C. 3's content beyond the specified limits increases the heat of hydration and solubility of cement in water. The hydrolysis of C. 3 cis mainly responsible for 7 day strength and hardness. The rate of hydrolysis of C. 3 sand the character of gel developed are the main causes of the hardness and early strength of cement paste. The heat of hydration is 500 Joule per gram, dicalcium silicate, C. 2. S. It constitutes about 25-40%, normally about 32%, of cement. It hydrates and hardens slowly and takes a long time to add to the strength, after a year or more. It imparts resistance to chemical attack. Rising of C. 2's content renders clinker harder to grind, reduces early strength, decreases resistance to freezing and thawing at early ages and decreases the heat of hydration. The hydrolysis of C. 2's proceeds slowly. At early ages, less than a month, C. 2 shows little influence on strength and hardness. While after one year, its contribution to the strength and hardness is proportionately almost equal to C. 3 S. The heat of hydration is 260 Joule per gram, tricalcium aluminate, C. 3. A. It is about 5-11%, normally about 10.5%, of cement. It rapidly reacts with water and is responsible for a flash set of finely grounded clinker. The rapidity of action is regulated by the addition of 2-3% of gypsum at the time of grinding cement. Tricalcium aluminate is responsible for the initial set, 
high heat of hydration and has aggregator tendency to volume changes causing cracking. Raising the C 3A content reduces the setting time, weakens resistance to sulfate attack and lowers the ultimate strength, heat of hydration and contraction during air hardening. The heat of hydration of 865 Joule per gram, tetracalcium aluminoferrite, C, 4AF. It constitutes about 8-14%, normally about 9%, of cement. It is responsible for the flash set but generates less heat. It has opoerist cementing value. Raising the C. 4AF content reduces strength slightly. The heat of hydration is 420 Joule per gram. Summary C3s, also called a light or tricalcium silicate. This compound is responsible for the early strength development. C2S, also called bolete or decalcium silicate. This compound is responsible for the late strength development C3A, also called aluminate or tricalcium aluminate. This compound contributes little to long-term strength. It provides early high heat generation in hydration, rapid hydration, thus responsible for the setting time of cement C3A has a weak resistance against sulfate C4AF, also called ferrite or tetracalcium alumina ferrite, little to now contribution to strength. It gives the color of cement. It is clear that C 3SA and DC 2SA are irresponsible for strength of cement due to the presence of silica. C 3A can be responsible cracks, X, shrinkage cracks, due to the high temperature release. As result of 4% 6% gypsum casso 4.2 H 20 MUSTB added so C 3S is responsible for early strength development setting and hardening of concrete C 2S determines later strength development C 3A controls heat evolution during hydration and C. 4AF is for sulfate resistance. Hydration of cement when water is added. The reactions which occur are mostly exothermic. That is, the reactions generate heat. Almost immediately on adding water some of the clinker sulfates and gypsum dissolve producing an alkaline, sulfate-rich, solution. Soon after mixing, the C3A phase, the most reactive of the four main clinker minerals, reacts with the water to form an aluminate-rich gel, stage I on the heat evolution curve above. The gel reacts with sulfate in solution to form small rod-like crystals of etringite C3A, reaction is with water is strongly exothermic but does not last long, typically only a few minutes and is followed by a period of a few hours of relatively low heat evolution. This is called the dormant, or induction period, stage 2. The first part of the dormant period, up to perhaps halfway through, corresponds to when concrete can be placed. As the dormant period progresses, 
the paste becomes too stiff to be workable. At the end of the dormant period, the alite and bolete in the cement start to react, with the formation of calcium silicate hydrate and calcium hydroxide. This corresponds to the main period of hydration, stage 3, during which time concrete strengths increase. The individual grains react from the surface inwards, and the anhydrous particles become smaller. C3A, hydration also continues, as fresh crystals become accessible to water. The period of maximum heat evolution occurs typically between about 10 and 20 hours after mixing and then gradually tails off. In a mix containing OPC only, most of the strength gain has occurred within about a month. Where OPC has been partly replaced by other materials, such as fly ash, Strong growth may occur more slowly and continue for several months or even a year. Ferrite reaction also starts quickly as water is added, but then slows down, probably because of a layer of iron hydroxide gel forms, coating the ferrite and acting as a barrier, preventing further reaction. The rate of heat evolution of the compound, if equal amount of each is considered will be in the following descending order C3, A, C3, S, C4, A, F, C2, S. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.